what's up guys so totally didn't plan on filming anything today because we just released a video yesterday but by complete fluke the engineering department called and requested some load checks on two of our rural substations and i say by complete fluke because we mentioned in the last video about the sensor link troubleman's kit right here yeah i got all kinds of clothes piled up over there it's cold out Years ago, in order to check these, what I would have to do, we clamp that around the primary and we check for amperage on all the phases. Huge pain in the butt because I've got to set up the truck in four different locations on some hills and we always do this in the winter time and the roads right now are pretty, pretty slick and we're actually down over that hill where we got to set up the truck. So. With the amp stick by sensor link, we're gonna be able to do these tests right from the ground. This, this is our substation right here. Another substation right across the road, actually, that one there belongs, it's a private substation, belongs to the windmill people. We've got our amp stick and our remote receiver. That's all we're gonna to need here today. Close up this kit here. No signal, no signal. I can't see this at all on my screen, I don't know. There we go, no signal. So as soon as I turn this guy on, let's see what happens. I think we're good, maybe. So I think that's all we gotta do. Turn both devices on, put that on a hot stick and shove it up into the lines and we'll be able to read how many amps are on the wire. Let's run down the hill and go check that out. All right, so this is normally where I would set up my truck. Not a good idea today, that's all ice. It's a pretty steep hill. The reason I set up here is to check the amperage at this structure. Turn the light up there. So where the light is right now, that's the feed coming from the substation. And it heads off to a village on the right and heads off to a village on the left. So if I had to, I could go down at the bottom of the hill, check amperage closer to that recloser, do the same thing on the other side. Normally I'd try to set up on this hill if I could, just kind of be able to get the amp readings on both sides at the same time with only one setup. But this is gonna be especially easy today because I'm just gonna stand right down there on the ground. Pretty much it, should be all set to go. So one thing we did do, we did mount the receiver right to the hot stick. You can see there's some little grooves and stuff if we want to mount it facing down if you're working out of a bucket. I'm just gonna put it facing my direction so I can see it here. And I'm just gonna shove that guy up into, up into the phase there. So we've got this fella jammed up into that road phase there. Right now, I know I'm down past that green line because I do have a slight amount of upwards pressure on it. You can see the slight bow in my stick. And we've got just under 60 amps, just over 61 amps. It was also flashing in, there it is in the bottom left, in. So when you look at the face of the device, the face is behind me so that current is flowing in through the face and out through the other side which is accurate to our substation which comes from uh, would be the right hand side of the screen now so we've got 60 amps on that road face 60 64 almost now and we're just going to lower that guy down we'll swing it over a bit and jam it up into that center phase 64 amps, almost 63 amps, 65. So they're actually extremely well balanced. Okay, so I just paused the camera for a minute to get the stick on the other side of that neutral line. We're on the field phase here now. 60, 61 amp. That's 
that's actually really well balanced for, for the three phase, 60 amp per phase. You can see the, the head of the unit, it's not per perpendicular to the line at all. I got it kind of cocked sideways. We've got that 62 amp reading. And if we do change it so it's perfectly perpendicular, it doesn't change a thing as far as the reading goes. So the device is accurate as long as, as I mentioned, the conductor's down below that green line. Now let's take a look at the direction of flow. So we do again have the direction of flow showing in and we're gonna take this guy, do a 180, spin it right around and I'm assuming it's gonna say out. There we go. Right on, well that was super easy. Didn't even have to leave the ground. So I was curious as to how it was gonna show the direction of flow. And we did see the, the in and out at the bottom left corner. And when I had this side facing the sub, so if this pole is the source, come up this way, and the current was flowing in through the front. So pretty obvious front and back to this. If it says in, then current is flowing through this way. Out, it's coming through the back of the unit. Real neat device. Huge thanks to SensorLink for sending over this demo unit definitely saved me a lot of time tonight especially on this freezing cold night out here i'll just set this one up into a quick clip guys thanks for stopping in as always and we'll see y'all soon